is a cracking set of heats. Here we go. Canley Kenny, best back, 275 into 185. First look at Gawler. Hyde and Snow at 3.30, 8.50 Windmill Hayes. Lewis rolling. Heat one of the bargain still centre. Gawler Gold Cup. Final Sunday night. They're ready. Away. Canley Kenny slow. Hyde and Snow won the start. Windmill Hayes drives up and Canley Kenny gets a rails run now. He's coming after Windmill Hayes as they go to the back straight. Uh, they're two lengths clear of power to rush third. Around them goes Hyde and Snow. Midfield Spring Bloom. Well back French Idol. Last Sean's entity. Oh, the favourite got into bother and the leader kicked away again. Windmill Hayes. Power to rush gets through and gives chase now. Then Canley Kenny running on the inside. Spring Bloom still in front. Windmill Hayes holding power to rush. Windmill Hayes wins the first heat of the Gawler Gold Cup. Powder Rush second, Spring Bloom third, fourth lacing Hyde and Snow, the luckless Canley Kenny. First look at Gawler, he was third last home, French Idol second last, and Sean's entity last in the time on heat one, 30 and 74. Windmill Hayes. Windmill Hayes wins heat one. Ken Gill gets himself into a Gawler Gold Cup final. Powder Rush second. Was trying to get around the leader's hills, turning for home, but couldn't pick up the winner. So Kenny Gill has uh, made the Gawler Gold Cup final with Wenmill Hayes, six third, Spring Bloom, three fourth, Hyde and Snow. Oh, Kenley Kenny. He was, uh, he didn't know where to go, inside or outside down the back, and he was poking through, but he tangled up with Powder Rush. And eventually, Windmill Hayes kicked away to win 30 and 74 the time. 3.30 the early sectional, 16 seconds off the back, 14.74 on the way home. And Ken Gill takes it out with Windmill Hayes. I reckon Ken's won a Gawler Cup from memory.